These stunning and idyllic scenes belie the buzz here in Cape Town, South Africa, as it gears up for the summer season of racing. Hello, I'm Ali Vance, and this is Winning Post. Cape Town's Musenberg Beach. If you're lucky enough, you'll be treated to this. Majestic racehorses enjoying a sand and sea workout. Well, fresh air and salt water is a natural tonic. It's good for their well-being, both physically but also mentally. Coming down here gives them a break from their usual daily routine. Justin Snaith is one of South Africa's top trainers. He got his license more than a decade ago, but he's been bringing horses down here since he was a young boy. It's just such a refreshing feeling for the horses, and I've never seen the horses more comfortable and happy. I mean, we take difficult horses on the track, which would be quite hard to handle. You take them to, this, to the beach and you ride them on the end of a buckle and they're as quiet as can be. So it's just, if they're happy to go there, I'll take them every day if I have to. Snaith Racing, which has more than 100 horses, is a family business. Father Chris was a leading trainer and brother Jonathan looks after the business side of things. Between them, they nurture champions, including two of the country's best, Futura and Legislate. Just his movement, the way he moves is incredible. So whereas Futura is more the flashy, good looking one, he's just so chilled and uh, always comes with a late run. So uh, it's just a real privilege and honor to have both of them at the same time. Pair, who have each won four grade ones, will both line up for the prestigious JMB Met, with Futura set to defend his title. It's a competitive race. The weights allow normally the best horse to win, so we don't have too many excuses and just hoping everyone gets a hassle-free uh, race. And we've run second, I think, six times in this race, so uh, tired of running second. It's time to win. A horse like Futura, you rode him on the beach. You must be able to sense how he's feeling ahead of a big race. Very much so. Um, you, you can see he's got his game face on, everything changes. You can just see it in, the, in, in their temperament that they're ready for something big. And they're, they're just in that good frame of mind. And uh, good horses seem to start feeling better closer to a big race. It's the, the not so good horses that are harder to train. The, the good ones are actually easy. They know. They know what's coming up and they just seem to put it together at the right time. Snace's passion for his charges couldn't be more obvious. My horses have been my kids for my, since, since I finished my um, uh, schooling. I'm on a horse's back just about every day and that's improved my training technique as well with racehorses because I'm just so much more involved with, it, with, that, with an animal and spend more time than what some other trainers would actually do. They're very sensitive and um, you know, they take a lot of care, you know, which for me is, is very important that they get that. Another crucial team member is John Freeman, bloodstock agent and part owner of Futura and Legislate. It's a dream, you know, um, I've been in my industry for 41 years this year, but you've got to get to 60 something years old to get a horse as good as Futura. Um, I can pinch myself, it's just incredible and I couldn't be happier and I couldn't be luckier. Freeman is the only person in South Africa approved by the court to value racehorses. It's a very difficult thing. Um, but when they're older horses, and you know more or less what the market will pay for a horse that's already proven, um, valuing yearlings is a different story because it's not an exact science. Get it right though, and it's profitable. Well, that's it from stunning Cape Town. Next month, we're in the Middle East, building up to the world's richest horse race, the Dubai World Cup. Winning Post, in association with Longines.